Hey, beautiful people, it's Ashley here. I'm just curious if you've ever heard the saying, those who sell the fear also sell the pill. So I know that this may stir up some things for you, so I'm just gonna say it again. Those who sell the fear also sell the pill. It doesn't matter what the pill is, let's just, take a look right now at what's really been happening in the world. The facts really remain true. Um, it was the Buddha who said there are three things that can't be hidden, and one of them is actually the truth, which is really true. So let's dive in, see what was really real for us. When COVID hit, the first thing that happened was this hoarding of toilet paper and when I started following the money to see where was the money of toilet paper going and why were people so worried about it to begin with it seemed pretty funny to me so I needed to know why it was happening it just didn't add up you know so turns out that the money of the toilet paper go to the hygiene companies the hygiene companies are also the same ones that are involved in agriculture. There are companies like Quaker and, uh, and Coca-Cola and Pepsi, these same ones that are causing hazards to our health and hazards to our planet Earth. These hygiene products, for most of you who are into the natural alternatives like me, um, you know, they're, they're things that we already don't want in our house or on our bodies because they actually using hygiene products like a lot of the soap and sanitizers what they're gonna do is strip your body of its natural bacteria you gotta think about this for a minute we are all bacteria that's what we're made out of and so if you're killing the bacteria on your body or inside of your body by eating some of those those toxic foods um, or putting the sanitizers and things on your body using those cleaning products in your house or on your food that's essentially in the end something that could kill you and i'm not just making this up this this is science you guys and and i just want you to have that open mind and and consider it for a second that you know maybe they're not the best things for you and even if you wholeheartedly believe that you're doing the right thing for your family, just ask the question, what if, what, what if you're wrong? You know, I ask myself the question, even though I'm here talking about this stuff, what if I'm wrong? And what if these things like these sanitary products, hygiene products, what if they are actually good for me? I, I, I'm a mom, so I'm not even thinking about me. I, I'm thinking about for my son. So at the end of the day, I followed the money and I saw where the money of the toilet paper and the, these hygiene products were going. Um, let's dive into the toilet paper now too. Um, being one of the hygiene products, it is made by the same companies that make tampons, which that's a whole other subject. I've made videos about that. Um, but also a lot of these, these same products. And, um, and did you know, it, it's actually like 27,000 trees that are destroyed on our planet for toilet paper every single day. And, and we don't need it. The environment doesn't need it any either. You know, we could save those trees just for our own oxygen, um, use them in other ways too. Uh, but not only that, our bodies don't need them either. Our butts really aren't made to be wiped with bleach towel and, and, and things like that you know our money would be better spent in other areas than giving it to the same people who are causing the fear and it's a lot it's a lot of trees you guys and it doesn't really work all that well you have to use a lot more than that one little square it it to me it doesn't make sense financially or physically um, so what I use instead is a bidet. I'm not even using like one of those warming bidets, anything like that. I actually have a diaper spray that I bought when I was doing the fabric diapers with my son. And that's what I'm still using today. That's what I use for my feminine hygiene products. That's what I use after I go to the bathroom. 
it's something that is definitely reusable and it definitely cleans a lot better too and yeah it's low maintenance you guys so um that's just one alternative there now let's get into the other subject another thing that's really been coming up like crazy lately is masks and there's a lot of talk about whether the masks even actually work because of the way that that viruses are contracted and you know let's face it there a lot of them are disposable i'm not saying that everybody's is i know some of you guys are out making your own and doing fabric ones or investing in them um, but a lot of them are paper a lot of them are still coming from the same companies that are causing the fear uh companies like the who and these hygiene companies and and things like that we really it, it's not necessary it's unnecessary waste um, but I found it really funny. I don't know if you guys will find it as funny as me. Um, but being here in Canada, our uh, premier is Justin Trudeau. And he went, went on stage and made this big announcement that we we're getting $72 million worth of masks in from China. And um, it, it was really crazy that, that they'd be shipping things here for COVID and or during COVID, um, when when they're doing all this fear mongering again, things didn't add up. And I followed the money, and I realized, oh, where is the money for these masks actually going? And they're going in the hands of the same people that are causing the fear. And and I truly believe that the mask may actually just be a representation of of our freedoms being taken away. It's almost like a muzzle or like a division, um, something that you can physically see to see um, who's willing to lose their freedoms and and who's still gonna continue to be themselves and, and rise above all of this and who's going to feel the fear and live free anyway. I really hope that this opens some of your minds. If you wanna challenge me on anything, want more information on anything, uh, leave it in the comments or send me send me a message um, to be able to find me. I love you so much. I'll talk to you soon.